Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 34th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out another application of the ternary operator. What we're going to do is we're going to make a program that is going to have three integers and we'll uh, initialize the variables and uh, then we would use the ternary operator to figure out which is the largest of the three numbers, right? So it's going to be a very simple program and uh, it's going to be interesting though. And you can see that using code blocks, I've saved a file. I've given it the name ternary underscore part two dot C. On line one in this file, I have my header file. On line two, I have the main function. On line, lines three and four, I have my curly braces. And uh, whatever code we're gonna type, we're gonna type between the braces. And uh, if you haven't seen the previous tutorial in this course, then I would recommend that you watch it because in that tutorial, I have discussed the ternary operator and uh, I've introduced it. So, you know, I'm not going to discuss the syntax in too much detail. I would uh, be expecting you to understand why I'm doing certain things, but uh, it's going to be still, it's still going to be a very simple tutorial. So even if you haven't watched it, then it's, it's not going to make too much difference. So uh, let's get started. I'll declare my integers first. So to do that, I'll have to type in the keyword int, and then I'll have to type in the names of my variables. So I'm going to have three variables, as I said, and I'm going to call them a, b, and c. So a comma b comma C now I'll put a semicolon to terminate this statement on the next line I'm going to give a the value 15 on the next line I'll give B the value 5 and on the next line I'll give C the value 10 right and now using the ternary operator we're going to check which of these is the largest and we would also display an appropriate message on screen using printf so let's uh, first type in our test condition and let the first condition be a greater than b. So let's check which is the larger of uh, a and b, right? And uh, if it is a, then what we'll have to do is we'll have to check whether a is greater than c as well. Because if a is greater than b, and if a is also greater than c, then we know that a is the largest of the three numbers. But if a is not greater than b, then we'll have to check which is the larger of b and c. Right, and if b is the larger, then b is the largest of the lot, and if c is the largest, then c is the largest of the lot. So that's the logic, right? But we're going to have a ternary operated statement within this ternary operated statement. You're going to see what I mean by that. So a is greater than b, and then within another set of parentheses, we're going to have another set of parentheses, and in this one, we're going to check if a is greater than c or not. And I'll put in the question mark symbol, and if this condition value is true, then we'll have to print the message using printf that a is the largest. So let me first get my pair of double quotes. A is the largest. And if this condition, if this condition value is to false, then we'll have to print that c is the largest. So again, to do that, I'll have to put in the colon and then type in printf again. And within double quotes for this printf, I'll have to type in c is the largest now just to make things uh, readable I don't want to go too much towards the right so the rest of uh, the statement I'm going to type in on a new line but I'll have to type in my colon here because uh, this statement is not yet over we've just covered the case where a is larger than B and a is maybe or maybe not larger than C we haven't checked we, we haven't yet made provision for you know what would happen if this condition would fail? That is, if A is not larger than B and B is larger than A. So that we're gonna do on the next line and the procedure is going to be pretty simple and same as above. We're gonna check whether B is greater than C. If that is the case, then we'll use printf to display the message B is the largest. And if that's not the case, then uh, we'll have a colon here and we'll type in printf again to display the message c is the largest right so it's pretty simple i'll put in a full stop at the end and at the end of all of it i'll put it in a semicolon to terminate this entire statement i'll save the file i'll click on build and run and there you go i see the message a is the largest and that's because a has the value 15 b has the value 5 and c is the value 10. now if i would change the value of b from 5 to 25 then you would see that upon clicking on build and run i would see the output b is the largest and if i would change the value of C from 10 to 100, save the file and click on build and run, then you would see that I get the message C is the largest. So all three cases have been covered. And um, I know some of you might be thinking that, you know, it's 
it's much more neater if you do the same thing using if else. I believe the same and that's why I don't use ternary operators much because see while you're writing your code it would uh, probably make sense to you what you're doing but then when you revisit your code after some time and if you know this is still a pretty small statement you've got just one statement embedded within another but you know sometimes you have a lot of ternary operator statements uh, and you know it gets pretty confusing and it's hard to debug so it's sometimes very difficult to spot where exactly the error lies and uh, that's why i prefer using if else it's it's you know it's easier to organize your code if you're using if else but anyway um, this was still a fun tutorial for me to make i hope you guys have enjoyed watching it and uh, stay tuned for updates please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and i'll uh, see you in the next tutorial thank you so much for watching